Multiple high-profile Republicans are speaking at the Conservative Political Action Conference, more commonly known as CPAC, which kicked off this week in Maryland. Former President Donald Trump will address the crowd tomorrow. The annual conference also features several names of people who potentially could become his running mate if he, in fact, does win the GOP nomination. CBS News campaign reporter Allison Novella is with us now from CPAC. Allison, good to have you. So, uh, Nikki Haley, she's still out on the campaign trail, but for many conservative voters, and this has been the case at CPAC for years now, Donald Trump already has it locked up. So what is the mood there? Absolutely. So Trump is definitely dominating the conversation here today. All the moderators, the speakers, the voters, everyone is talking about supporting Trump, voting for Trump in November. If you take a walk through the venue, you will find several brightly colored hats with MAGA displayed on them. You will see Trump's face on several T-shirts. Thousands of voters are here to support him. And if you make your way through the exhibition hall, you'll even see a pinball machine referencing the January 6th day. So there's a lot of enthusiasm for Trump here today. This is very much his event. A pinball machine about January 6th? What? Explain that. That's right, Lana. Yeah, so one of the supporters here created a pinball machine. You will see Trump on it. There's lots of flashing colors. You can play the game at the exhibition hall, and it has got a lot of voters buzzing. Lots of people are visiting it. So, again, there's a lot of merch here. Everyone here is for Trump. Uh, well, two possible Trump VP picks, South Dakota Republican Governor Kristi Noem and uh, New York Republican Congresswoman Elise Stefanik are speaking today. I'm trying to suss out who is behind you speaking right now. I can't quite tell. It's a little bit blurry. But um, tell us who that is and what you're hearing about possible VP candidates. Oh, gosh. Well, I can't hear who's speaking behind me right now either, but I have heard a lot of buzz about Representative Stefanik and businessman Vivek Ramaswamy for some potential VP picks. Uh, even yesterday, we heard one of the speakers say that he would like to see Governor DeSantis and Trump kiss and make up. So there's a lot of buzz around who's going to be the pick. And there's an informal straw poll going around as well, where voters can talk about who they would like to see as Trump's choice. We'll find out the results for that tomorrow towards the end of the convention. Uh, but there is a lot of enthusiasm for that as well. That's what everyone's talking about. What are you learning about the conservative strategy for the general election? And what have people expressed to you as potential weak points that they're concerned about? Well, there doesn't seem to be any concerns when it comes to the former President Trump. Everyone here, again, is all for him. Everyone is pretty sure he's going to be the name on the ballot in November. Uh, everyone plans to vote for him, and everyone is calling for Republicans to coalesce around him. Uh, when it comes to issues, there's a lot of concern about the economy, inflation, border security. So those are topics that come up frequently, but they're not concerned about it when it comes to the Republican Party, and everyone is very confident that Trump will have the support for him in November. All right, Alison Novello, thank you.